two circles P and Q, each of radius 2 centimeters, pass through each other's centers. Lovely. The intersect at points A and B. A circle R is drawn with diameter AB. What is the area of overlap between the circles R and B? Excellent question. So, first circle, second circle. This one center here, one center here. Fine. This is say P and Q. They intersect at A and B. This is A, this is B. And then we draw a circle R with diameter AB. So we draw a circle like this. What is the area of overlap between the circles R and P? This is this circle of circle R. Let me see if I can put it in a different color. We have the option. Why not do that? This is circle R. And so we want to find area overlapping between circles R and P. Okay. Let's see. Let's call this a circle R. We want to find area interlap between R and P. Really? What will be the area overlapping between R and P? One will be this area. Okay. Nice. That is one half of R. What will be the next one? That will be this area. That is some part of P. And so, first of all, P and Q have radii 2 each. R radius we have to find. That depends on AB. After that, we know that this semicircle, that one half of R, sits inside P. And then this segment sits inside R. This segment of P sits inside R. This semicircle of R sits inside P. We need to find this area of overlap. And so, Let's find AB first. We'll build from there. So if we have, oops, say, let's go back to our black. This is two. This is two. This is two. Two, two, two. Two, two. Nice. So I know this triangle. It's an equal triangle. It's an equal triangle. This angle is 60. Whole angle is 120. This is the altitude. Let's say this. We call this point uh, two circles, the centers. They intersect at A and B. Let's call the centers as C and D. And this point is E. A E is equal to root 3. Why root 3? Root 3 by 2 times side is the altitude. This is an A C D is an equilateral triangle. 2, 2, 2. Why? Radius. Equal radius. 2, 2, 2. Root 3. This is also root 3. So R has a radius equal to this 2 root 3 is a diameter radius is root 3 lovely so with that we can find this area what is that area it is 1 by 2 into pi into root 3 square which is 3 pi by 2 that part is done comfortable now let's look at the purple shaded area. This is the part of P, which also happens to be an R. This is a segment of P. Right? What is this arc? What is the central angle? The angle here is 120. So this purple area, this will be area of sector minus area of triangle. This is area of a segment. What is area of the sector? Angle at the center divided by 360 into pi r square. What is the radius here? Radius will be 2. What is the angle at the center? 120. And so let's write area of the sector, which is 120 by 360 into pi into 2 square. What is the area of triangle? The triangle we have in mind here. I'm going to again find to see if I can find a different color. The triangle we have in mind here is this triangle here. This segment, this sector minus this triangle. What are the formula I use? I can use AB is root 3, half into root 3 into 1, half into base into height, minus half, oops, 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 minus half into 2 root 3 into 1, sorry, AB is 2 root 3 into 1. This is root 3. So I need to add this to this 
to get to our answer. 120 by 360 is 1 by 3. So this is 3 pi by 2 plus 4 pi by 3 minus root 3. So 3 pi by 2 plus 4 pi by 3 minus root 3. This is a minus root 3. This is out. This is out. This is out. 17 pi by 6 minus root 3 or 13 pi by 3. Denominator is 6. This is 9 by 6. This is 8 by 6. 17 pi by 6 minus root 3. That's the answer we are looking for. So beautiful, beautiful question. We're going to think about draw the diagram nice and slow and then say, hey, this is a semicircle plus a segment. Segment is sector minus triangle. Semicircle we know, but the semicircle has a different radius. Segment, sector minus triangle, that has that is for a different circle. Do it methodically, carefully. Wonderful question, really challenging.